Hey everyone, welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's online video tutorial series. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the more difficult algebra problems that you'll run into on the SAT. So let's get started. So this is number 16, which ends up being the last question on the section that we took this from. And remember, the questions get more difficult as they go, so this is supposed to be a really hard question. Let's read it. So for non-zero numbers w, x, and y, if x is twice y and y is one-third of w, what is the ratio of w squared to x squared? Well, that is some confusing stuff going on there. And I'm sure if your life depended on it and if you had all the time in the world, you could solve this problem. I'm certain that that's possible. However, it's number 16. Again, it's the end of a section. This is a timed test. So we may be running out of time here. Um, and even so, even if you had plenty of time, this is some confusing stuff here. So instead of dealing with algebra, which we can't easily verify, let's instead deal with real numbers. So we're going to pick real numbers for w, for y, and x. And we're going to start with w because we're dividing by 3. And I want to control that so we don't get a decimal. If we got a decimal, it wouldn't really be worth my time to pick numbers. So, okay, w is going to be an easy number that's divisible by 3. So how about 9? Okay, so w is 9. y is 1 -third of w, so y is therefore 3. And x is twice y, so we're going to make x twice as big as y, 6. Now they ask us about w squared and x squared. That's easy enough. 9 squared is 81. Um, and we'll put, just to be clear here, this is w squared. And then 6 squared is 36. And it's our x squared. Now, obviously they don't give us answers that are w squared to x squared, 81 to 36. They do not give us that for answers. But there is a common factor here. We could, we could divide both of these by 9. So 81 divided by 9 gives me another 9. 36 divided by 9 gives me 4. So w squared to x squared, let's be careful here, this is our w and this is our x squared. The answer is 9 to 4. I want you guys to be really careful because look, we have 4 to 9 here. So be really careful and make sure you know which one's which. Okay, so the easiest way to do this supposedly really hard, because it's number 16, algebra problem is to pick numbers for our variables, pick easy numbers, and just follow the instructions. Okay, I think all of you guys can do this, and this is supposed to be the problem that's determining who's getting in to Harvard and who's not. Let's put that here. Harvard! This is supposed to be a hard question. We just turned it into a really easy question, and you can too. So pick numbers and get yourself into an awesome school.